dispute that happened in Doklam with China, which led to India moving to Quad. Now, according to you, what should be India's China policy? Because India is at one point of time looking at a larger conflict, which was averted last year. Right. Okay. So I, I will tell you what I think India's broader policy should be for its own national interests. India should develop a very powerful strategic relationship with the United States that is economic, technological, nuclear, and political. The United, the, India should say to the United States, if you want to have a real relationship with us, here are the things we want. We want you to sell us your most advanced weaponry. We want you to help us develop an even more powerful nuclear deterrent. We want an open, a greater openness to trade and technology. We want to become the next Taiwan. If you're worried about a Taiwan you know, going the wrong way, you need to have an insurance policy. We can be the next Taiwan. We can be the next great manufacturer of semiconductor chips in the world, and we want technology flows and transfer flows like that. We want a people-to-people -people relationship that is so that our relationship is characterized, is, is more like the United States and Israel than the United States and Saudi Arabia. The United States and Saudi Arabia have a government-to-government -government relationship. Israel and the United States have a people-to-people -people relationship. India can construct on a much larger scale that kind of relationship. And if you put all that in place, I think you present China with a much more complicated strategic choice. Then, you know, to, and, and then the Chinese, I think, will ask themselves, for 20 square miles of frozen wasteland in the, Himal in the Himalayas, would it be worth you know, getting into a permanent antagonistic situation? And I would argue that they will make the rational choice that it actually won't, and so India will be able to maintain good, good trade relations with China as well. That, but the, at this point, the Chinese have no reason to fear India. And the Indians have this, you know, I mean, I really think it's, it's very much a kind of head in the sand, 1950s, Nehru, Hindu, Chini, Chini, Bhai, Bhai approach. Like, we, we somehow, you know, how many times has Modi met with Xi, thinking that this, the, you know, this great act of personal diplomacy is going to change Xi Jinping? The Chinese don't think that way. They are thinking very strategically about their, in, their expanding influence. Yeah, ideas of India.